Hi viewers, here we will discuss about bootstrapping in compiler descent. What is bootstrapping? Here, uh, the process to translate the simple programs into complicated program. So here, uh, the simple program, set of simple programs combined together to create a complicated programming tool. For example, we are writing the compiler by using set of modules, set of programs, then the compiler will handle another uh, programming language. For example, C compiler is uh, written by a set of programs in the VC++, then it compiles the C programming language. So that is the thing. Then the that C compiler, in the C compiler, again we can write the set of programs to create another one uh, tool to handle the uh, set of programs. So this complicated set, this complicated program that that means this compiler this complicated program can be used to write set of programs further set of programs to handle the more complicated programs so it will be keep on uh, doing uh, uh, doing to handle the another programming language so that is called bootstrapping so here this is used to produce self hosting compiler self hosting compiler in the sense the compiler itself runs the or compiles the its own source code the why we are using this bootstrapping because to create the new compiler from the scratch will take lot of time for any high level language so it is a complicated process so to reduce the time the bootstrap is used to build a new compiler to reduce the uh, time and also reduce the time so then for this to represent the bootstrapping, we are having the tombstone diagram symbols. The tombstone diagram is called a T diagram. It is having a set of puzzle pieces that represents compiler, interpreter and other related language processing systems. For example, this is the curve based T symbol. So here this program is written in language L. For example, program uh, may, might be a C, the a C programming language. So program is written in C programming language. So that will be represented by this curve based T symbol. Then this is this T symbol uh, used to represent the translator. That means compiler. The compiler is written in some programming language L. For example, that L is written in uh, v c++ visual c++ it handles the c programming language c compiler this is c compiler written in v c++ it handles the c programming language and converting into the machine programming language object code so s is c programming language l is written in v c++ t is target program that is the machine level code then another one symbol is m so this one is the machine hardware architecture that hardware architecture supports to the uh, language m written in language m then this is rectangle uh, represents the interpreter the interpreter m is written in uh, language l programming language l interpreter is uh, having a set of program the set of programs is written in programming language l so here we can combine these different symbols together to form a another combination so here look at this this machine uh, m supports to the programming language m so we are writing the programs in programming language m for example our uh, pc uh, supports to the uh, visual c++ that visual c++ written uh, visual c++ creates the compiler m that may be that may be a uh, set of programs in VC++ to create the C compiler. So that C compiler, uh, C compiler handles the program written in C. So we can combine both. Then here program is written in source language yes. Then the compiler, this is the compiler symbol. The compiler takes the source language yes and converting into the target program T, which is another programming language, but it is handled by compiler M. That compiler M is supported by machine M. So here, then this program is written in target programming language T. So when you are combining the different combination, uh, different tools, this 
this yes and also source program taken by the compiler should be same and also the target program uh, convert, target program generated by the compiler m and also this tool this program is written in the some program should be the same otherwise it is wrong so this combination is wrong why because program is written in l but that machine should sub, will support only the programming language m that is this so this combination will not work then another one this programming is written in language l but this compiler only will take the handle the programming language written in s so it will not handle the uh, programs written in language l so this combination is wrong so we will see one example here we are going to create a cross compiler to uh, new language x this is this x is handled by the compiler y right so this compiler is implemented in the new uh, language y so this y will convert the x into target code ez for example c compiler uh, written, written in visual c++ that takes the c code x converting into the object code ez so this compiler vc++ already compiled by some other programming language that is given here you look at this this is visual c++ code that is compiled uh, that is compiled by visual c++ compiler but that visual c++ compiler is written by some other programming language m so it handles the vc++ code so converting into the that corresponding uh, machine code so this compiler supported by machine m now we are going to combine compiler 1 and compiler 2 to make the cross compiler look at here the compiler 1 already we know uh, y which is uh, written in the vc++ visual c++ handles the c programming code and converting into another target language now this y, combining with compiler 2 so already we know this y is handled by uh, compiler m that compiler m is uh, handling the y and converting into m so now this m should be handled by another compiler another compiler that handles that compiler this m will attach it with another compiler this m so both are same it handles the directly x it this is a new compiler cross compiler this m handles the programming language x and converting into ez so our target is we have to convert the x into ez so this combination makes the new compiler uh, to convert the programming language from x to ez thanks for watching so here why it is mentioned like this sense this compiler used for bootstrapping on machine m thanks for watching uh, this represents the efficiency efficiency in the sense of in the in terms of uh, memory usage and runtime that is space complexity and runtime complexity here we will start with simple set of programs that is inefficient code then we will use the bootstrapping to improve the performance of compiler so uh, first we will start with inefficient code then slowly we will use the bootstrapping to increase the efficiency in terms of time complexity and space complexity thanks for watching